All right, folks, I'm Tom Downey. Alongside me is Mitchell Renz. Time now for our live Q&A again. Make sure you use hashtag NFL in the comment section. Makes it easier for producer Brett to grab them. First up from Luke Miller, do you think Kyler Murray could fall to the late first, maybe Chargers and Saints? I thought that was a bit of a possibility when it came to, okay, is he going to play football or not? Is that going to be his choice? He's locked in on football. We'll see how he interviews at the combine with teams, but I would be surprised if he fell that far. He's a better pure thrower than Lamar Jackson is, despite the size concerns. Yeah, I think now the fact that we know that he's committed to football, that's ultimately going to raise his stock for me. I think he's a top 15 pick. I think there's way too many quarterback needy teams. I mean, we're talking about Dolphins, Redskins, I guess technically the Bengals, the Bengals, Giants, the Jags. Make the Bengals fun again. Those are all top 15 teams. I don't think any of those teams, if he is on the board, are going to let him get past that. And I don't think they should. Kyler Murray, top quarterback in this year's class. Yeah, I, I very much agree there. All right, from Ogre Styles, hope that's right, what free agents will the Lions get? I'll, I'll focus on a big name for you, one we've mentioned before. I think Trey Flowers, if he hits the open market, is a logical fit for Detroit. Matt Patricia, okay. Yeah. Okay. They have the money. They can make it happen. Hmm. I would also look for some cornerbacks. I don't know how great of a fit he'd be scheme-wise, but Ronald Darby, because they need a, a, another number two corner. That's fair. Darby's the best one in a poor class, which I think could make him too expensive, but he makes sense to See, me. See, I like the Trey Flowers pick, because I also do not expect them whatsoever to bring back Anza. So, Trey yeah. Flowers, Matt Patricia, mm -hmm. let's link it up. Right. Omar Munez, are the 49ers getting Antonio Brown? A, a, first off, we can't call him AB anymore, guys. He wants to go by Mr. Big Chest. We're going to help himself identify as Mr. Big Chest there. So for Antonio Brown, do you think he ends up in San Francisco? If he's dealt, that's the assumption there. I'm going to go with yes. So they've been my number one team now for about a month. I mean, we've seen him tweet out pictures of him with the 49ers. Jerry Rice is recruiting him. George Kittle has recruited them. Mm -hmm. I think it makes a lot of sense and also if the 49ers want to actually show that they're invested in Jimmy Garoppolo which they 100% are go on and get one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. All right, Zachary Sipes asks which player the Chiefs will draft I think they're looking back seven assuming they do retain D Ford there will be some corners there will, there will be some safeties there a guy like Nasir Adler, a guy like Chauncey Gardner Johnson Deontay Thompson in, in that back four a cornerback like a DeAndre Baker, or if they get lucky, a Byron Murphy or a Greed Williams slides down to them, I think that's where they target maybe a linebacker, too. Yeah, I was, I was going to say Adderley or Thompson, mm -hmm. but you already mentioned But that. I, I took all the names from you, so that's my mistake. <laughs> say, thank God. All right, Penguins 6-2-2. Should the Penguins add to their running backs and cut a guy who is a free agent, correct, Mitch? The, the Eagles? Yeah. Should the Eagles yeah. add? You said, should the Penguins add to their nice, running backs? Nice, love it. Great. And cut a guy. Ugh. Oh. Great Freudian slip. Penguins are awesome. All right, Penguins, how about this? I'm actually going to be breaking down He's going to go play hockey now. I'm going to go break down the top 10 free agent running backs. That's going to be on next, or tomorrow's show, so you can check that out. But do I think that they should cut Ajayi? If he's going to be willing to take a pay cut, no. And I personally think, though, that he's actually going to end up back on Philadelphia. I, I think for the Eagles, you can bring back Ajayi, but you should at least look to other backs in the end. I think they need a more reliable impact player. Unless he goes they got the pick. to the NHL and plays for the pick. Exactly, because sometimes I don't make any sense. <laughs> Inspiring Munoz, Raiders own the draft this year and can get anyone they want this year. Well, I don't know about that, actually. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't know if you're guaranteed to go up to number one and get Nick Bosa. I think you can make it happen. Sure. But maybe Arizona says, you know what? No, we have the number one pick. We own the draft. Therefore, I'm going to take the number one pick. I think it's just more go, going on the fact that they have six picks in the top 106. Mm -hmm. They have three picks in the first round. I think you're looking at a team who's the most entertaining team in the draft. It's 100% the Raiders, but from what I'm hearing from Mayock and Gruden, personally, I think the Raiders are going to trade back. Just More saying. picks is more picks after all. All right, next up from Pete Boniker, Buffalo Bills. Who are they going to get in free agency? $90 million in cap space. They got plenty of money. They got to look offense. Yeah. Look at the offensive line. Darrell Williams is almost too logical of a fit for me. Okay. You can bring him in, set yourself up there. If you want to go with another former Panthers player, Thomas Davis could make sense in, in the interim, although he could also go to, to Cleveland and join up with Steve Wilkes again. I also think you got to go find a receiver potentially. you got to find more than just I, I one receiver. I don't love the receiver class per se. Michael Crabtree, I think, actually would kind of make sense for a young quarterback like Josh okay, Allen. Okay, I could see that. 
I think that makes sense. Although I just assume Crabby's gonna sign one with Arizona, because that's what all the players you get cut have done this year. <laughs> so that's fair. They need wide receiver help though for they sure. They do. So I think offense is gonna be there. Maybe even a running back. Can we trust LaShawn McCoy? He's got like four season ending injuries. Carlos Williams is on suspended. You can bring him back. Oh shit, that's right. Yeah, Carlos I kid. Williams. I don't think they're gonna bring him back. Oh man. All right, William Pete, what is going on with Demarcus Lawrence and his contract situation? Not much change right now. I think you'll see things pick up at the Combine, as many things often do for the NFL this time of the year. But he's not going to hit the open market. The Cowboys aren't dumb. They're going to franchise tag him. If it comes to that, I think it's more likely they find out and work a way to get a long-term extension locked up for they the better, Cowboys. And but we also quoted and said the Giants would be dumb to let Landon Collins go. Yes. And I think you just said the Cowboys would be dumb to let DeMarcus yes, Lawrence go. Yes, and they would be dumb. I so don't think the Cowboys If DeMarcus dumb. Lawrence hits the open market, they are dumb. Tweet at what going down and get They on. are dumb. <laughs> I will be ripping them in the con uh, on Twitter as well. By the way, Cowboys fans, subscribe to our YouTube can channel, youtube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. The best Cowboys channel out there. Go subscribe. Don't be a ding dong. <laughs> Gavin Snow, should the Chiefs trade Justin Houston? What should they ask for in the trade? And with the free cap, should they pursue Le'Veon Bell? The problem with Houston is that he does carry a pretty hefty contract. Yep. And there are injury problems there, so I... I, don't, I wouldn't trade for him. I don't know what you'd actually get for Justin Houston. Here's the which thing, Which is though. weird to say out loud. Do I think that they should go out and get Le'Veon Bell? That's another one where, no, I, I don't really think so. I think Damian Williams but was Mahomes much. But Mahomes and Bell and Tyreek and Kelsey and Sammy Watkins, it's Madden. Sure, it's Madden, but how about they worry about that defense? The offense isn't what's broken. It's the defense because that team's not winning a Super Bowl unless they fix that defense. So, Chiefs fans, you want to get to the Super Bowl, fix the defense because the offense, I can 100% guarantee that ain't broken. If you trade Justin Houston, the team that takes him on is eating about $15.5 in cap money. That's a lot for a player who has had injury problems. So I, I think Houston is that type of player whose his contract is so hefty, he's a little bit tough to trade, and you probably wouldn't get as much back as you would think. And I kind of lean more with you. I, I would rather go take a younger back and let and stay cheap there, because at some point, if you're Kansas City, you you're gonna have to pay Mahomes. He's gonna get <laughs> an insanely large deal. <laughs> Peter Gorman asked, should Robert Kraft uh, sell the Patriots? I, not sell. I, I know what you mean there. I mean he's not going to. They're not going to make him do it. Or maybe they actually meant sailing because I think Robert Kraft's been on the poop deck. Okay, we're just going to move on to the next one then. Didn't you see me gaming? Do you think the Cardinals trade down in the draft? I think they could. I, I think they're definitely going to be open to it because, yes, they have 11 picks. They got a lot of needs. Like, they got to fill holes there. If they can get down to four or five and six and still get a good offensive lineman, an impact defensive player, and pick up future picks, that's a win for them. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why they ranked dead last in offense last year, at least point mm -hmm. scored. They only scored 179 points, but not that not that Quinn and Williams or some of these Ed Rushers like a Nick Bosa is not a big mm -hmm. need for them. I mean, they're the worst team in the NFL, at least in terms, you know, they have so many needs. But again, there's a lot of teams I think that would be willing to trade up for that number one pick. And mm -hmm. just like there's a lot of teams out there, like the Raiders or like the Cardinals. If the guy is not there that you absolutely love and somebody wants to trade up for him, might as well do it. All right, from Anthony Rodriguez, Mitch, I'll, I'll let you take this one. Should the Raiders take Josh Allen or Quinnen Williams? I assume you mean Quinnen. Like, there are multiple yep. Williams, but I assume Quinnen. Um, Quinnen Williams could also mean Greedy Williams, because I know a bunch of the Raider fans love that. And also, if you're a diehard Raider fan, make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I'm going to go about this one, though, Josh Allen or Quinnen Williams. Mm -hmm. In terms of just players, I actually think Quinnen Williams is a better player than Josh Allen. Now, here's the thing. I think Josh Allen's upside, which I think you would agree with me, Tom, is higher than Quinnen Williams. No? I don't even know about that. Quinnen's really good. I know he is. He's it's, young. It's he's what? The, is he even 20 years old yet? He's 21. It's the positional value of it all. But at the end of the day, the Raiders, they need a defensive end. They ranked dead last in sacks last year with only 13. Like, the next closest team in terms of sacks was the Cardinals with 30. That's how bad the Raiders were getting after the quarterback. Here's the thing, though. I don't think Josh Allen or Quinn Williams make it to the Raiders at four. I could see Josh Allen making it there, but it would require a team moving to up to one or two. And I don't know if that's actually going to end up happening. Okay. Jared Sanchez asks, who should the Steelers draft in the first round? I think you're looking in that back seven, a common theme we've said so far. you got to find an impact linebacker, 
and unfortunately for Pittsburgh, they're pretty bad about evaluating defensive back prospects. Well, especially safeties. And corner. They're, they're not good with it. So ignore your typical positional value, what you normally do if you're Pittsburgh. <laughs> take somebody good this time around. Do the exact opposite. Whoever's on your big board, don't take their dra Their track history has been pretty, pretty bad overall, but I think they're going to target that back seven once again. Said Mackey, what will the Dolphins do for a quarterback? Hey. <laughs> Correct response right there. There was the report that Miami wanted to tank, and that's all fine and dandy and get a quarterback next year. But it's different once you get to the pre-draft process. You start scouting the guys. Maybe you fall in love with one of them say, man, we got to get this guy. We got to go trade up for him. Regardless, I think they are going to cut Ryan Tannehill. Yep. Maybe try to trade him, but that seems unlikely and go find a, at least a stopgap guy, maybe like a Teddy Bridgewater. Or Jacoby Brissett. Teddy Bridgewater, Jacoby Brissett, who's better? We want to know from you. I'm going Teddy because you don't have to trade for him. Okay. That's, that's, that makes more sense for me if I'm Miami. That's fair. 